you're watching Mr. Tony of the Dead's Reviews. <laughs> Tony here. Uh, yep, I'm on my way now to Stroudsburg to hang out with Anthony Rapino and his brother Mike. And you know what that means. Yard sailing. That's right, the yard sale hunter gang are going to be back at it again. And, uh, you know, I blame Tony for this. Watching his videos and seeing that, um, you know, he would go out for yard sales and find all these cool games and vintage shit. Because I used to be like, I'm not getting up that early. And, uh, I, I don't know, I just, I, not that I was against it, just didn't interest me. And seeing what he found, I'm like, I'm going to go and try out some of them. And, well, I guess I, I blame him, but I also should thank him as well. Because he found some great stuff out there in the wild, you know, uh, while yard sailing. And if you haven't seen any of the awesome stuff that I found, go back and check out my yard sale finds. But anyway, yeah, gonna have a good time today. I'm Nostradamus, I can predict the future. Uh, but no, it's, it's a given, it's, it's a guarantee that I'm gonna have a good time because I'm gonna be hanging out with another Tony and his brother Mike. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna hit up the, uh, I'm not sure what the flea market or swap meet, I don't know. But we're, I'm gonna hit, we're gonna hit that up first. It's actually uh, 5.35 in the morning right now. And uh, sorry it's a little dark, but that's the way the world works at 5.35 in the morning. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna hit up this swap meet that we hit up that other time. Don't really expect to find too much there. I'm on the hunt today for PlayStation 1, 2, 3 games. Not one, two, or three games. PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, Xbox, Xbox 360, Xbox One. Uh, I know Tony usually just goes for, not that he just goes, but mainly for like the Nintendo, stuff like that. I'm, I'll probably let him, if he finds any of that stuff, I'll probably just let him get it because I don't really have any interest in that right now. But I, I do have my, unless I see something that's like, Oh my god, I, I should get that, you know, whatever. But, I don't know. So, enough rambling. I'm going to stop this <laughs> from here. And uh, we'll see you. See what we see. We'll see when we get there. See when we get there. If we ever get there. <laughs> nice wing. Holy shit. Oh, fuck it, I'm going to let it on there. So... I know this is like the first footage you're seeing after it was 5.30 in the morning. But there's Tony. And there's Mike. And what time is it? Uh, it's now 12.30. 12.30. It's alright. It's only seven hours later. Not too bad. Yeah, not too bad. We hit up the uh, flea market. Couple, well, one good one, one shitty one. But one decent one, one shitty one. Some yard sales. We just drove out to a yard sale now that had like it took forever to get there and it had like shit. Nothing really at all. And but you got some you got some coal. I did get coal. <laughs> you got coal. It was uh the score of the day. Yep. Score of the day. <laughs> yeah, that was that's all we got. There's no there's I didn't get anything. Tony got coal. No, I'm just kidding. But you're probably better to watch his channel because his video because he has more footage. Look at that. They look like twins. <laughs> In fact, that one lady thought you he was you. Yeah, she mixed us up. Mike walked away for a second and I was standing there. <laughs> She's like, oh no, I'm looking for the other one. No, you're looking for me. <laughs> Yeah, and she didn't have any video games. Is it a road? Uh, Barry Street, or Barry Road. Or Barry Road. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 
now we're trying to find our way back after being funneled into the backwoods for about... Did you already say this? I wasn't listening at all. It's like 30 minute drive. I don't know. I don't listen to myself, just like nobody else listens to me. I was concentrating on Mike's holding the phone behind my ear for directions, like, huh? <laughs> Where are we going now? Yep. About a half a mile turn left. And a half a mile turn left. We're gonna, are we dropping the stuff off and then going to eat? Or what are we doing? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna just stop off at Mike's place. We could drop some stuff off and the cars and the houses and whatnot. And then, um, we can head out to 611, I guess, and not necessarily in this order, go to my friend's uh, retro game shop and go eat something. Yes. Eat a quarter of a mile. We're hungry Two men. Can't be hungry. Hungry men. Hungry men in tights. No tights. Hey, if I don't eat soon, I'm going to be able to fit in the tights. <laughs> They're going to be baggy on me. That'd be fucking weird. It's actually only been an hour and a half since we, uh, an hour and a half. An hour and a half? Jesus! Uh, I think this is the main strip here. Looks like it, doesn't it? Okay, okay. so I'm home now. Uh, it was a long day. It was a very, very fun day, actually. Uh, didn't get much footage. Well, hardly any at all, and I'm very sorry about that. But, uh, I'm just gonna show everybody what I got today. It's a pretty massive haul. This might take a while. It's a lot of games, some movies. So, here we go. Uh, first, uh, Anthony Rapino had was giving me a... Uh, he, he said he had a box full of uh, VHS tapes for me and stuff. So, that's what this is. box full of VHS tapes. Uh, I'm going to show you them real quick. Uh, first one is Dr. Seuss, The Lor Lorax. I've never seen it. I know there's like an animated movie. I Come in Peace, which uh, I remember back in the day, I liked this movie. I believe, I don't know, did it come to just Blu-ray now recently? I don't know. Uh, Skeletons. Skeletons. Uh, this one, I'm interested because Brad Dorff's in it. Um, and it's Phoenix. Never heard, I haven't heard of that one either. That doesn't sound right. I never heard of that. I, I haven't. Uh, Alien, which is cool. I've seen Alien. And uh, this is funny, a steel copy of Blair Witch Project, which uh, I don't think mine's sealed, but I've, I've been seeing that all over the place. Uh, this one's a, a sealed copy of How to F How to Found a Pound, a Pound Puppies uh, cartoon uh, from back in the day. It says a Tonka home video. That's always nice to live like my childhood. Uh, and this is a cut box of the Night Walker. Um, to be honest, I'll probably use this box for something. And I'll show you what in a minute. Uh, but uh, Tremors. I love Tremors. I know that people don't like the other movies of Tremors, but I do. I think they're pretty cool. Um, this one, Alvin the Ch Ch Wow. Alvin and the Chipmunks Trick or Treason. I used to like Alvin. I, know, I can't stand them now. Uh, Cartoon Network Scooby-Doo, a Halloween hassle at Dracula's Castle. That sounds pretty funny. Uh, this one, I've this, this is another cover back in the day. It used to weird me out. I don't know. Watchers, Corey Haim. Uh, I've never seen it, but it still looks scary to me. I think I've heard it was pretty good. I don't know. Uh, Carnival of Souls. Looks like a, uh, I don't know, it's sealed. I, I know this is a very old movie, it's very creepy. Uh, Blood Song from New Horizons Home Video. This one, I've seen the cover. This is actually a different looking cover, unless this is like a sequel. Uh, the Fear Halloween Night. I've seen this cover, sort of, unless, like I said, this is a different, uh, like a sequel or something, but I don't think so. I don't know. Uh, this one, it's a Bride of Frankenstein's on, like, taped on here. That's pretty cool. Uh, what is this? Oh, cool. Fantastic Dinosaurs of the Movies. That's pretty cool. Uh, I will definitely watch that. That looks like a documentary on all the different movies. And it has, like, 
obviously like Ray Harryhausen stuff. Yeah, it says it right there. Ray Harryhausen, Jim Danforth, Janforth, Jim, Jim Danforth, Willis O'Brien. I'm gonna definitely check this out. I didn't know. He, I didn't look through these thoroughly. I didn't know. Uh, I'm looking forward to that, to be honest. Uh, and this one, uh, Hellraiser, Hellraiser 2, two full-length features. It's a double here. I think I remember him picking this up. And uh, he's kind of like, it's a Clive Barker collection. He's kind of trying to make room, I know, like uh, for, for things. And he just thought I would like this stuff. But uh, if I could use that black box or like find something else, I'm going to put this in there. Because uh, I have an idea. I want to make my own VHS cover. Like, uh, you know, the, like a slip slip cover and I want to put in and what what movie to do it better to do it with than Day of the Dead I don't know if anybody see that this is the media release though and Tony has in this nice cool clear case Day of the Dead I love Day of the Dead I have I have it on different copies I don't have it on VHS well now I do but uh, that's the case isn't there but that's okay because now that gives me a chance to make my own case so he gave me all those and now I will go into what I got at the uh, everywhere we went, flea markets and all that. Uh, so, but thank you very much, Tony, for that. Uh, really appreciate it. I gave him some things too, so make sure you check out his video uh, on this, and you'll see what I sent to him. And uh, well, not sent to him, but I gave to him. Uh, I found at the flea market down there two VHS tapes. And I don't have this one. I have the Blu-ray. I still haven't watched it, but uh, it's Ghost Town. It has some tape on the top, but I think it still looks good. That's a, I always thought that cover looked really cool. So I got Ghost Town, and this I don't. I've never seen it, never heard of it. I just thought this cover looked really cool, and it's Goodbye Cruel World. I don't know. This it could be good, could be bad. 1982. But that cover's pretty cool. I like the cover. Uh, I'm not going to say what I paid for things, but you know, you know me, I like to haggle and I don't pay, I didn't pay much for a lot of this stuff. Um, this one, I looked it up after I bought it and it is an out of print DVD. Uh, it's, you know, I bought it because I thought it might be, plus Carrie Wars in it, and that's Poison. Uh, you just, like, if you want to see me, you know, like, turn into Jello, this is the woman to have me around. No offense, Shayna. But, I mean, celebrity-wise, this is the woman that, turned me, that turns me into mush. I'm, and I have, I have in front of her. That sounds really weird, but I did. A uh, couple other things I got at the uh, flea market. I think, yeah, I got all four of these off the same person. And uh, I got this because, uh, first off, it's a great game. It was great online, and it's now backwards compatible on Xbox One, and that's Call of Duty Black Ops. Um, is, I think it's complete. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's complete, and uh, so I haven't played this in a long time, so I'm looking forward to playing that again. Also from the same person. I've never heard of this game, but it looks interesting. Uh, X-Men Next Dimension. It doesn't go for much money, but... Uh, it looks kind of like a uh, fighting game, like a uh, Mortal Kombat type of game. I don't know. That's what it appears to be, which is cool. I'm looking forward to trying it, trying that out. Uh, and then, of course, not of course, but I have Eternal Ring here. It looks kind of neat, too. I remember this cover back in the day. I don't know if this is an earlier PlayStation 2 release. Sorry for that glare. Jesus, that sucks. i got to move this. There we go. Sort of. Eternal Ring. Uh, that was complete. These are all complete, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And uh, this one, The Punisher for Xbox. Uh, I, I looked up to how much this went for on eBay. And, uh, you know, let's just say, with everything I've gotten, uh, I did good. You know, let's just say. Uh, I did spend a lot more than I usually spend, but it's a lot of crap. And... Again, for what I would have spent if I went to like GameStop or eBay, it would be like fucking quadruple the amount of money or something. I don't know. But yeah, The Punisher, which again, I've never played. I've seen that cover a million times. I'm looking forward to playing it. And so now I'll go on to the next bunch of stuff.
This is actually the first two things I picked up for the day. Um, and it's nothing special, but I didn't have them. And uh, so I got Star Wars 2, the original trilogy, Lego of Star Wars 2, the original trilogy. Uh, I've, the Star Wars, these are so much fun, even on uh, the 3DS, when I, I beat that and, you know, got 100% on that back in the day when that first came out. That was, that's an awesome game, too. And then uh, Star Wars Starfighter. I remember enjoying playing this, but I don't, I do remember it not being that great. <laughs> but they're both complete, looked really nice. And the seller was the same seller I bought from last time I was there with Tony and his brother. And he, he's reasonable prices. Uh, you know, the more you buy, the cheaper it gets. And um, he was just a really nice guy. So it's, it was nice to buy from him. And uh, going on to the next bunch of games. Well, no, actually, not games. If I'm going in order to the next yard sale, uh, we went to a yard sale. And I found these there. And I don't know why I'm getting them, because I'm trying to get rid of them, but I just couldn't pass it up. And it's uh, Goosebumps here. Egg Monsters from Mars. That's a pretty cool cover. And uh, I think they wanted 50 cents a piece for these. And then this one, I got, uh, what is it? Goosebumps Harland, Right Your Fright. And it has the uh, hand up here. You know, you, I haven't opened it yet, but uh, you open it up. But listen... That's pretty cool. When I when I picked this up, I didn't know it did that. So I li I like that. Now I gotta try to find the others. But that was at one yard sale. Then there was one across the street from that one who actually put up the signs for a yard sale. All right. So like I said, went across the street to the one who had the yard sale. He got a couple games from them. Uh, he brought out um, a bunch of PlayStation stuff, PlayStation Two system actually, and uh, he. I don't know. He he's just like, what do you want for? What do you offer me? And you know, I he set a price. I of course haggled it, so I got what I wanted. But uh, got here SOCOM U.S. Navy SEALs. I like the SOCOM games. There they were fun. So you uh, SOCOM U.S. Navy SEALs. This one I think might be one of the wrestling games that are worth a little bit. It might be worth like you know 10, 15 bucks, maybe less. I don't know. But that's. Smackdown, here comes the pain. Uh, I think I saw this twice today, to be honest. But uh, I think this is the nicer copy. But uh, yeah, I don't know if the, maybe I'm blowing smoke on my ass, but uh, up my ass, but uh, <laughs> whatever, up your ass. Um, but that might be the one that's kind of I don't know worth something. Not like I can't retire with it. Uh, then uh, Rocky. I know this is a pretty bad game. Look at it, it used to go for twenty dollars. Used to go for like what fifty, sixty dollars. So, uh, but yeah, Rocky, Rocky, uh, Tony Hawk's Project Eight. Just because I have a lot of other Tony Hawk games, gotta get, gotta get them all right. And Tony Hawk. Uh, I guess this is called Show X. Kind of like a weird racing game, Mini Coopers and stuff. EA Sports. Eh. It's not a typical normal racing one, so whatever. And this one I never heard of before, but it looks like I'd be into it. And it's Shell Shock Nam 67. Pretty cool. I didn't know this one existed, and uh, I was like, oh, okay. So I'm gonna go to the next pile of what I got. After that, I believe we went to this indoor flea market, which is pretty much garbage. I don't get it. There's stuff. Lights are on in sections, and the person's not there. They're not even there in the building. So I've missed out on one. But I, I ended up getting this. I know I've wanted this for a while, and uh, I got it for a decent price. And I'm surprised the guy actually gave it to me for what I asked for. Um, but I got Star Wars Republic Commando, and this was a, a really, really fun game. This was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. And I just want everybody to know, in case you're hearing a, a noise, I have the fan on over here. It's fucking hot as balls up here. So, I'm keeping it on. So, whatever. Get you, be, I hope, get used to it. I don't know. Uh, and now, I'm going out of order, but I don't care. Uh, we went to a yard sale. Uh, why do I say that? Of course we went to a yard sale. Went up to this one person that was selling stuff in their yard and uh, there's a couple PlayStation 3 games nothing exciting 
maybe the one I would, two of them I would be excited for. But uh, I've got Sonic Generations. Looks like it's uh, two ways to play Sonic now. I don't know. I, I've never played it before, but it's Sonic, so it can't go wrong. And yes, there's a price on there. Not what I paid. <laughs> uh, and then, I don't know why I got this. I guess just because it was there. But uh, Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. I know this was free to download on X Xbox. And I did have it downloaded, but it's too goddamn big of a file on Xbox One. I think it was Black Flag. I don't know. But uh, I remember it was okay when I played... I'm not that into stealth games. Some of them are okay, but... And this one actually doesn't have a manual. The case is fucked. It doesn't matter. But I wasn't going to get it, but it's Burnout Paradise. And I love the Burnout franchise on PS2. So I had to get this one. Uh, and if, if you're like a person who, when they play in a game like Grand Theft Auto or something, and you have to drive or escort something and you're really bad at it this is great because you don't have to you know drive good you're supposed to smash into people you're supposed to cause accidents and all this kind of shit uh, and at least that's how the other burnouts are but uh, I'm hoping this one's like that too and it's just and they're just so much fun and I, I really and I really love them a lot like uh, like they're just so much fun now this next pile here <laughs> is all from I believe anyway they're they're all from the same person and uh, actually no I'm lying actually these next couple games were also from the guy who brought out games and uh, didn't you know ask me what they were or how much he want I wanted for to offer him uh, but there's a uh, greatest hits from PlayStation driver 2 uh, I haven't played these in a long time so I really don't remember a lot about what these are about so driver 2 here which could be fun uh, this one the case looks really dirty it's just a case but it's cool borders and I don't know if this is the one yeah it has cool borders in it but it also has cool borders 2 in here and uh, so I have both of them and the manuals in here and everything it's just this case is very ugly <laughs> it's very gross so I gotta change that uh, and then well I got cool borders uh, one and two so I have to get cool borders four I think I have part three I might I might not but cool borders four I like those kind of games and this this was an awesome find uh, I got road rash road rash when it used to be on like the Genesis and had fucking great games I love Road Rash so I'm looking forward to playing this again again I'm not sure if I ever played it on it on PlayStation I know I play on Genesis back in the day like especially Road Rash 3 I played a ton of that but Road Rash on PlayStation is gonna be a good time so that was that person and then what I was going to say is I got this pat this stack of, of games from this woman who was uh, having the art sale and I actually saw something while we were driving up to it and then we of course asked if she had any games well Tony did and she did and she brought that like went in and out of the house her and her son like four times and brought all these stacks of games it's mo they mostly had wrestling and and like uh, sports and stuff but or racing games which is fine but it wasn't like a lot of racing games I wanted but there were some games that I did like Tony grabbed a, a couple from her too but I said, you don't want any of these? He's like, nope, take them. So, okay. Uh, but got Gran Turismo 2. Not really into the Gran Turismo games. They do, for the time, they did look really nice. And, uh, you know, it's the black label. So that's really cool. Uh, the, the booklets in here and that. They kept pretty good, uh, kept pretty good care of their stuff. So Gran Turismo. And this one... It, it sucks. I, I need a manual. I need a new case. But uh, I didn't want to, like, not grab this game because this is a fucking awesome game. Vigilante 8 Second Offense. I love the Vigilante games. It's kind of almost like a uh, Twisted Metal type of game. Uh, I remember playing a shitload of this back in the day. So, I mean, I just need to find the manual and I have to get a new case. But 
that's easy. Uh, this one, I don't know. I never play it. It's another kind of racing game. Looks almost F Zero ish in a way. Uh, but that's Roll Cage. I never, I've never heard of this game before in my life. But again, racing games that are kind of different like this, I'm into it. You know, I really like it. Uh, next, Spec Ops Covert Assault. Black Label. That's another thing. I, I, a lot of times you see a lot of greatest hits out there. And when you find a Black Label of something, not that. Not that that might have the greatest hits or anything, but you know, it's just cool to find. But speaking of greatest hits, Duke Nukem, Time to Kill. I, whatever, you know. Duke Nukem's cool. Uh, this one, I didn't really want to get it, but you know, there's Rob Van Dam on the front. That's ECW Hardcore Revolution. You got, you, you got to get an ECW game, and it has Rob Van Dam on it. R V D. <laughs> uh, but uh, this one, it's the greatest hits. And uh, Tony said, You have to buy this game. I'm like, Okay. He goes, Don't you have it? I said, No. I go, Don't you want it? No, you, I have it. You can you grab it. And I'm like, Okay. So, but that's a uh, Crash Team Racing. It's the greatest hits, but uh, that's fine with me. Uh, Crash Bandicoot and, you know, racing. Kind of like the Mario Kart type of thing. So, looking forward to playing that. And then, uh, Battle Tank Global Assault. Looks like a good time. <laughs> they all look fun. I mean, I've, I've tried to pick games that I knew I would eventually play. And, uh, I love tank games, and it, it's supposed to be in the year 2006, so it's a very futuristic game. Um, but this one, I don't know, I, I have never played this, but it, it has Bruce Willis in it. <laughs> and it's Die Hard Trilogy. This is backwards, I have to flip that around in there but I'm just showing you like this but uh that should be a fun time you know love the Die Hard movies why wouldn't the games be great um but also I got now I got this because my copy is like bad so this is an upgrade but it's and I also do have the greatest hits so it doesn't matter but it's San and <laughs> Grand Theft Auto San Andreas um it does does it have it has it has the uh, poster and map and everything in here and I honestly didn't know until I just checked but it's in there uh, so yeah that's an upgrade uh, this one is Brothers in Arms Road to Hill 30 I, th I played this a long time ago when it first came out and I remember liking it it says it's based on a true story so I'm gonna enjoy reliving that I love war games as well you know I can't get enough of them and uh, this one I got because it's not it doesn't have the manual it's a black label disc but it's in a Hollywood video case and whatever I'll just have to find an empty case and manual online but Star Wars Battlefront 2 couldn't pass it up especially I got all this stuff off her and she gave it to me like this great great price um, so, and this one too I believe I have this and it, I, this is an upgrade too, or this is a sequel, I don't know. But Mercenaries Playground of Destruction. I liked the Mercenaries, I, was it Mercenaries 2, I think, for Xbox 360 back in the day, and, and that was fucking awesome. So uh, I like looking forward to playing that. And then this one, I've never, I never knew this existed. And it sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, it's WWE. Uh, crush hour and it's basically it looks like uh, I don't know if it's like a twisted metal kind of game uh, I guess it is kind of like a twisted metal but it's like wrestlers it looks fucking crazy I mean it has Rob Van Dam and the rock on the front there it just looks like fun and uh, these other two games I got off of her are both sealed so I don't know I'm probably gonna sell them or if somebody wants to trade or whatever Maybe I'll keep them. They're not worth a ton or anything, but it's just cool to, you know, find them out in the wild too much, like sealed copies. And it's nothing special, but Tony Hawk's American Wasteland. It's sealed. I figure I picked it up, whatever. You know, I, I included it into the bundle. And then this one, I know I won't open, and I know I'll never play it, is Duel Masters Limited Edition. It's That actually blinded me when I first, like, looked at it in the sun. Uh... It has the free booster pack inside. So, I mean, it's 
fucking pretty heavy and it, it it looks nice but I don't play those games um, another thing I got and I have to test this yet to be honest and it does it looks like it's broken but this is how they are I got a wire uh, AV cord for the PlayStation 2 because I need one uh, and also I have to go into the other room but I have one more thing that I got off this lady and this is the, actually the first thing I got from her and I was ecstatic that I found this because I've been wanting one of these for a while so let me go and run and get it alright so if you're friends with me on Facebook you know I've been looking for this for a while and I found it obviously <laughs> or else I wouldn't have it um, but when I got there it didn't have the K the charger and I was like oh man that sucks I I don't want to buy without the charger but then she found the charger and uh, it's for a PSP I finally got my fucking PSP it's the first model which is the one I had it's the original model the 1000 and uh, I was kinda hoping I'd find like a 2000 or a 3000 but hey I'm fine I, I like this one I think the other ones are lighter and but this screen is more expensive I don't know but I'm looking forward to it and uh, to playing it there is a game inside and there and it actually was in this case and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say the price of this one uh, I she wanted 15 and I said you know I don't know if this is gonna work will you take 10 and she said sure and then she that's when she found the charger and everything I tried it it worked uh, but I still got it for 10 she was a very very nice lady and she just wanted to get rid of everything but um, this is what I love about it I turned this on and this is what's on the cover because this was her son's you have to look at this look at that uh, that just made me smile and laugh like I don't know I guess that's uh, Megan Fox but that's fucking I, I just that just made my day I like turn it on I was like ah! oh my god that's funny but FHM picture of Megan Fox on there you're my hero now kid but um, to my surprise like I said there were two games in this and she just gave them to me for you know along with the deal and um, this one I didn't know until I got home when it was in it I just saw it and I was like okay but that's ATV off-road fury pro unfortunately she didn't have any cases or anything that's okay I'll eventually find some and then uh, need for speed carbon own the city that those were both in there and uh, of course I also have the charger in the other room and the cool thing was she thought she put out two of them but she didn't obviously I, it has I have the box and it does have it's in there but it has a manual so that that's pretty cool you know I have the box I have the manual uh, I have a carrying case which you know I'm not gonna leave the house with it but I got that and so I'm like I'm so excited now because but now that's something else to you know collect but so so cool so glad to have it and uh, it it looks new like I don't know I think her kids were I wouldn't say brats or anything but they were pretty spoiled because she said oh they had all the systems and they they had all the games I mean there's two games here that they didn't even open but uh, whatever her their loss my gain uh, but yeah we went to another yard sale after that if, if that wasn't good enough right and uh, I a couple weeks ago months I don't know beginning of the summer I found I forgot to put it in the video but I found a portable DVD player and it was kind of like it seen better days and I, I didn't pay much for it I think I paid like two bucks and whatever it works you know okay and then I saw this there at this one she was a very nice lady but she she had broken promises and I'm sure Tony will tell you why Pro broken promises of of oh I have all these games inside and then <laughs> nothing but anyway that's uh, another thing but I got this it's a seven inch screen Philips portable DVD player and uh, the chargers in it it works it looks nice uh, it does not have like uh, it has like the charger for it but it doesn't have like a car charger so I'm thinking I could take probably the car charger off my other one and use it for this so that way 
it's a charger for in the car and then there's charger home and it's it's a really I'll take it pull it out look at it's a white one which I didn't realize looks really nice um, she obviously didn't use her stuff that much I also forgot to say that in here is actually a memory card which I totally forgot you needed one for these but it's a uh, 500 let me look real quick it was a 512 megabyte a memory card which I'm thinking that's a pretty decent size memory card for this uh, so if I'm set you know for a little while at least I saw there was a few games on here saved and there's still like almost 300 megabytes left so uh, that's awesome you know I, I'm that saved me a little more money there but uh, yeah paid a great price for that and uh, you know if this lady's watching it thank you very much it went to a good good home uh, but after that uh, I needed a, a PlayStation 2 controller because I can't play any of this without a controller um, so we went to this place it's called Pocono Game Hunters video games and collectibles and it's run by a guy named Peter Thompson and uh, his Facebook page is facebook.com backslash Pocono Game Hunters and uh, there's this card <laughs> there screenshot this and then there's the information on the back if any, I'll put the information below you know this videos long enough but uh, he was a very nice guy um, Tony knew him so I got a good deal on this uh, it's a pretty nice new controller uh, it's the DualShock one you know an official PlayStation 2 controller um, so he hooked me up with that and then uh, I asked him if he had PSP games because I have a PSP now and uh, he did he only had one game really and there's no case but that's fine it's a SOCOM US Navy SEALs Fire Team Bravo interesting I, I when I used to have a PSP I didn't play too many games and I don't think I played that so I'm excited to play that again um, but he also had, and I've been looking for this ever since I found out that this went backwards compatible on Xbox One. I've been looking for it for a good price. He gave it to me for a good price. So that's Red Dead Redemption on the 360. This is a great game if, if you're into westerns and uh, you like the style of like Grand Theft Auto games. Uh, you, you'll like this. This is a good game. It's, it's a lot of fun. I, I like it better than Grand Theft Auto. I, I'm... I like Grand Theft Auto games, but I love the Western set, setting to this. It's just it's a great game. Just It's very beautiful, too. But, in order to play... Sorry for the crinkles. In order to play all this stuff, I needed a PlayStation 2. Or 1. Well, or 3, technically. With a... No. I needed a PlayStation to play it. So, Tony decided to sell me a PlayStation 2 Slim and he said as long as you don't mind it it has Digimon stickers on the top I don't care that's a bonus it's a bonus but uh, oh Tony didn't know this I, I don't think he cares it has NCAA football 10 in here I really doubt he cares Tony if you want this back you can have it but I really don't think you're gonna give a shit about a football game but uh, that's in there maybe that's a joke maybe he thought <laughs> he'll he won't want this but uh, yeah, it's the Digimon. He's I got the wires here, to, you know, um, and now I have this wire. I have to actually still test that wire, so hopefully it works. If not, they're cheap. Um, but the wire for there, nice black slim PS2. So, and I got a memory card the other day, so I'm good to go. That's everything I got today, and uh, I did very well on the pricing for this stuff it is so hot and I got, I'm gonna get the hell out of here but that's it everybody thanks for watching make sure you subscribe to my channel and to Anthony's channel Anthony Rapino to Tony's channel subscribe to his channel link below make sure you go check him out also make sure you go and check out Pete on Facebook very nice guy it's a small little shop but very reasonable prices very nice guy uh, very knowledgeable about this stuff and uh, you know very first time meeting him and uh, you know I feel comfortable around him he's a great guy so go check him out check Tony's channel out check the rest of my channel out subscribe 
like this video, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, and Horror Amino, and that is it. Thank you everybody for watching. Talk to you later.